in the year 2015 united nations conference of parties 21 was held in paris city then in the conference of the conference of parties or cop 21 held in paris large large negotiations and discussions were held after enough negotiations and discussions we came out with a paris agreement on the climate change Paris Agreement would be implemented by the signatories from the year 2020. Then recently, one of the most important agreement signed or being discussed on the climate change in the world is the Paris Agreement. Hence, the COP21 held in Paris City in 2015 and the Paris Agreement are the important, important have a great importance in the climate change discussion. Hence, our discussion today is on the salient features of the Paris Agreement and the major components of the Paris Agreement. Let us discuss today on Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Welcome back to the classroom. Let us discuss today as we mentioned earlier about the Paris Climate Change Agreement. Then Paris Agreement on the Climate Change. Every year the United Nations Climate Change Agri Climate Change Talks or Climate Change Conference happens in the month of December. The 2015 2015 climate change talk was or climate change conference was held in the Paris city. In the climate change conference held in Paris treaty or the 20 it was the 21st climate change talk COP conference of parties 21 in the 21st one which was held in the year 2015 the agreement an agreement was signed or an agreement was prepared that is an agreement it is a road map for all the nations in the world to take action against the climate change in the post 2020 period then in the 20 in the cop 21 held in 2015 in the france in the paris in the capital city of the france a road map for all nations to be followed for controlling for for the control in the climate change in the world and the actions what actions has to be taken against the climate change were the world a road map was prepared that road map would be followed by all nations post 2020 after 2020 the paris agreement has to be followed by all nations all nations for for ensuring their initiatives for facility for taking the pledge what initiatives they can do for controlling the climate change of the world now let us discuss about the salient features of the paris agreement on the climate change what are the salient features of the paris agreement on the climate change first one what is the aim of the paris agreement and the most important thing is that the aim of paris agreement is that to reduce the increase in the temperature of the world and temperature of all countries maximum up to maximum up to two degrees celsius than the pre-industrial era pre-industrial era as we mentioned earlier before 1757 whatever was the temperature whatever was the temperature of the nation before 1757 that is the pre-industrial era at present the temperature of that nation should not increase more than two degrees celsius then having a target is that 2 degrees celsius up to 2 degrees celsius increase can be the more than 2 degrees celsius no country should have the temperature increase in comparison to the pre-industrial era and if possible it has to be further reduced into 1.5 degrees celsius then the mandatory thing is the 2 degrees celsius this is the aim of paris agreement second feature of the paris agreement is that it is a comprehensive climate change agreement or 
comprehensive package. It is a comprehensive package, not only a package for simply reducing the reducing the greenhouse gases or reducing the carbon emission or mitigation of the climate change. More than simply mitigating the climate change, it is a comprehensive and balanced agreement. It has the mitigation and it has mitigation techniques are there how to reduce the how to reduce the carbon carbon emission or other greenhouse gases emission it is the it has the financing provisions that means it has the finance for the developing nations or the underdeveloped nations who are making a loss by following the Paris agreement they would be compensated by a fund created by the developed nations and technology development and transfer is the and for facilitating to for facilitating to follow the terms and conditions of the Paris agreement technology transfer and the technology development and technology transfer would be done for example India has a good technological advancement in the solar energy then we will transfer the solar energy solar energy technology for other developed nations or developing nations or the underdeveloped nations for helping them in achieving their pledge for the Paris agreement hence and this is a this is a comprehensive system or a comprehensive agreement instead of focusing only on the mitigation next one is that climate action plans the third feature of the Paris Agreement is that there is a climate action plan. All countries, whatever action plan they are taking, India has the India has India has its own climate action plan. We will discuss later on the India's climate action plan. Then climate action plan. Each country should form a climate action plan. What actions they are going to take for contributing into the climate for contributing into the mitigation of the climate change. Countries should take their own action plan that action plan they should report into the united nations framework united nations framework convention on the climate change unfccc and they should report to the international body working on the climate change that is the united nations framework convention on the climate change nationally determined this is the climate change plan is known as the nationally determined contributions then what contributions for example India can give to the climate change and that we have to take an act we have to take a decision and report to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change the reporting has to be done every five years that is another feature of the Paris Climate Agreement next feature of the Paris Climate Agreement is that finance by the developed countries then finance by developed nations for supporting the developing countries or the underdeveloped countries underdeveloped countries for helping the nations which are making loss due to their pledge towards the Paris Agreement. According to the agreement, because 2020 is the year when we are going to start the climate agreement, start implementation of the Paris Agreement. Before 2020, all developed nations together should contribute US dollar 100 billion and US dollar 100 billion should be contributed by all developed nations for assisting the developing nations and the underdeveloped nations who are making any financial loss in the development aspect. After this up to 2025, up to 2025 the developed nations should contribute 100 billion US dollar every year. Then up to 2025 again they should continue to con contribute in contribute 100 billion US dollar every year and for five years from 2020 to 2025 for assisting the poor nations in achieving their target for the climate change. Next is another important aspect of the another important feature of the United and important feature of the Paris Agreement is that the target of climate neutrality. Then climate neutrality has to be targeted 
climate neutrality in the sense that by the middle of the 21st century that is by the year 2050 the balance between carbon emission and carbon sinking should be neutral whatever carbon emission is done that much that much carbon should be sequestrated carbon should be sunk carbon sinking facility should be equal amount of carbon sinking should be the then carbon emission Total carbon emission is equal to carbon sequestrated or the total, total capacity of the carbon sinking. Then this should be, this situation should be realized by the middle of the 21st century or the 20, by, by the year 2050. That is another important provision of the Paris Agreement. Then these are the major provisions and agreements signed in the Paris during the COP21 which was held in the Paris city of the France among the nations which are the participants in the Con Conference of Parties of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Then if a question comes that analyze the discussions and features your features of the Paris Climate Agreement 2015 it may come as a question because it is going to be implemented from next year 2020 then for 2019 APSC mains examination this is a crucial current affairs hence you be ready for such a question in the examination your APSC mains examination.